<laughs> you catch it on time. <laughs> okay. Okay, anyone? Good night. Are you there? Hello. Yo, hello, hello. How are you? Oh, how, how are you? Oh, good, good. Long time no see. Okay. Yes, it's not like this is next to each other. Yeah. Okay, so let's start the lesson. Uh, today's lesson is number, uh, grammar lesson eight. Which is lesson eight the... Good morning, Miss Fatima. Oh, good morning, uh, Burawi. Are you ready? Can you open the book, yes. page number 90 to 93? We're going to study today. Um, uh, there it Which is. book? Grammar book. Oh, sorry. We don't have grammar book. No, you have, except you. The rest of them, they don't have, except you, Burawi. Okay. You have more book? No, no, you don't have it. It's okay. Uh, just send me your email. I'm going to send you the uh, PDF, uh, I mean, PowerPoint, or you can open the school uh, website. There is the whole book as a PDF file, as a PDF, okay? So today's lesson is about the indefinite pronoun, there and it. So have a look at the screen. I'm going to uh, explain it, okay? So indefinite pronoun, what is indefinite pronoun? Usually the indefinite pronouns, have, they talk about something general and not particular. For example, there and it, we are uh, talking about those two pronouns today. So uh, if you see the following pronouns, for example, there, plus B, to introduce information or to say something exists. So it basically it gives information as well as tells us that something exists. We often use it with the uh, uh, something or any. In this case, uh, you can say like they can, we use them something, any, nothing, much, or more, or many, enough, or lot. We use with those to show the how much or how less. For example, over here, there weren't enough egg for an omelet. There weren't. So this is our indefinite pronoun. But what is it? Uh, here, uh, enough. We have used enough. What is enough? Adverb, adjective, noun, verb. Which part of a speech is it? Enough. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, uh, determiner. No, I mean, they should, enough is means it shows about. Is it adjective? Uh, adjective, enough. yes. Really, you, you just copy past the uh, limit. Ah, uh, Burawi. Ah, uh, guys, enough. What is it? <laughs> A double question. I'm going to look at like this three times. So another one. There is a good film tonight on TV. Really? I want to watch it. Okay, there's a good film tonight on TV. So they, those indefinite pronouns that uh, they give us information or they talk about something exists. Same time we can use the, with those, what are, they, what are those? Any, nothing, much, many, more, enough, a lot. What are those? Anyone, any clue? Adverb, can it be adjective? For example, much, nothing can be adjective. Definitely not now, definitely not uh, uh, verb, definitely not. Adjective, mm. okay. So here, uh, I don't think so, by the way. Okay, next one, it, the indefinite of pronoun it, we use it with adjective or with noun. To talk about, we, uh, when we use it, uh, we use it for what? Talk about time, weather, distance between places, and the general situations. It also can go with 
infinitive or even ing and as well as that clause so let's see that the uh, an example it is uh, it is lovely in lo it is lovely in scotland at this time of year what are they talking about they talk about here weather what about here it is waste of time arguing with him what does that mean what are they talking about it is Situation. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. It's about situation here. Um, sorry. Here, situation. Here. Oh, sorry. It's not accepting it. Okay. It is about the situation. It would be good to see Harry again. Hmm. It would be good to see her again. What is it? Is it distance, yeah, weather, it general situation? Situation. Mm -hmm. Is it also a situation? A situation. situation. Okay. okay. Is there anything is there else? Any that? That? Here. Here. What is this? What is this? It is surprisingly it is surprisingly discussed. Mm -hmm. so it's it's right? right? Okay. So now here, so now here uh, look at the uh, look at the more and some. No or none to talk about things in particular place, place or group. But what are those? They are particular. When we talk about things in particular, place or a group, we use all, some, no, or none. Some of out of staff are part time, but all of them are experienced teachers. Fortunately, uh, what is that word behind that one? Sorry. Uh, Nimit, what is this word? Fortunately, can you complete because my screen has some spot I cannot read the words behind it. None, none has complaint. Uh, none has complaints about no teaching. their teaching. So here, here, some over here and all over here and also around here, I think. Uh, the nun has complaints about their teaching. So what are these? They are talking about particular or particular place or particular group. For example, some out of, of our stuff. Sorry, there's a mistake again. I'm sorry. Uh, here, instead of T, it's what should be our. Our stuff, not the uh, us. Yeah, here. Some of our staff are part-time. We're talking about uh, some out of a group, but all of them are. That means this one is all about the group. Fortunately, none has complaints. It's talking about a, a specific a particular person. Okay, is that clear? Guys, any questions? <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's okay. Okay, so let's move on so to this. Okay, here. Again, my screen. Something. For example, here. Can you read it, uh, Limit? Something. Something positive. Anybody? Negative or question? Nowhere. Mm -hmm. We use them in everyday conversation. Each of them is counted as singular. Have you forgotten to invite anyone? Something is running right under my chair. This medicine, nowhere else to be found. Okay, can you expect this? Finish with for example. Um, 
anybody is used like to ask a question or like to state something negative mm -hmm. and something is like to state something positive okay and nowhere is like it's just nowhere <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, where are they talking about this? So sometimes, are they, are they talking about anything particular? No. No, they don't. No, okay. they talk about no. generally. They talk about Not precise. Okay. Burabi, are you there? Yes. Can you explain the next one, each and every? Each and every have similar meaning, but each refers to two or more, and every refers to three or more. Mm -hmm. She gave each of us each of us a small gift. Look okay. at these houses. Each every, look at these houses. Each every is a different color. Each item costs four, two pounds. Okay, so can you explain? Sorry, this if not each every every so one is each and every have similar uh, meaning, but. Uh, each used with two or more. Okay. And every refers yes. to there or more. So we can use uh, every with there or more. Uh huh. If it's each, we're talking about three. just two or more. And two if it, more. every, it means three or more stuff. Okay. More. So what about what's the difference between this two? For example, the first example and next uh, the third example. She gave each of us. A small gift. What does that mean? Small gift. Each. She gave each one a small gift. Uh huh. That means between talking about between who? How many people is, are they talking about? Between each two or three, right? Two or more. Two. But here, everyone, each everyone is different color. I'm sorry, not is has. Everyone has a different, has a different color. color. So it's more than three. Okay, that means the houses are there. Plenty of houses that each one of them has a different color. So, yes. any question to ask from here? No. Alma, no. uh, Fatima, anyone else there? No one? Me, Fatima. Okay, Fatima, can you explain the last one? Both and either, or neither nor, to uh -huh. compare people and experiences. Okay. We both agreed to move in the same floor. Uh -huh. Neither of us likes having any pet around. Okay, so could you explain those? Uh, same, same like it's used for to compare things that are uh -huh. same. Compare people? And, uh, yes, okay. And for neither, it means that Mm. Uh, neither of us likes having any pet around. What like does that mean, this sentence? What does it mean? Neither of us likes uh, having any pet around. It's negative. Negative, which is none, right? Both. None. Yeah. And the same, uh, same floor. We both agreed to move in the same floor. And we in the same floor. Okay, what does that mean? They are going to... Stay. Either. Uh huh. So, because, yeah, because they agree. Okay. So, there's one more thing I would like to mention to you guys here. Do you see this one uh, as a, uh, you, you must be wondering here, both and end. And either or. I have neither nor. If you think about neither of us, do we need to, ne need to use nor? Not yet. But if you're going to mention, those two things, for example, both of us, who? Sarah and uh, Fatima, or uh, uh, he, I mean, them and uh, us. In this case, if you bring up the specific uh, group or to, uh, to subject to compare, you're going to use and, or, if it's negative, you're going to use nor, okay? Because uh, either, uh, either uh, Sophie, or Fatima, or neither, nor, neither Sophie nor uh, Selma. That's how it should be. Both Sophie and who? Fatima. That's how we're going to use, okay? 
that's what it means. So any question on this part? Uh -huh. Okay. No, it's clear. Okay, let's move to the next uh, slide here. Actually, it's exercise. Okay, oh, here. Uh, here in this, uh, mine has, uh, hasn't arrived with his photos. Fill the gaps, it's, is there, there is, or there are, there aren't, or there will be. One of those two fill those gaps. So if you give me your option. Okay, let's start from the Sophie, uh, Buravi, Fatima. Okay, just give me one, two, three, and then I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write down your answers. So, Sophie, what is your answer? It is five o'clock. People will be arriving an hour. It is a waste of time worrying about Liam. Mm -hmm. It is waste of time. Waste of time. Waste, uh, waste of time. Uh, it's a waste of time worrying about Liam. Okay. Buravi, we, need, we will need some. Okay. We, find some more photos to fill this space and nothing else we can do. What should we? And there are. There are. Is that correct? There are nothing else we can do. No, 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 no. What should we do? And there's, there's nothing good. Aha, uh -huh, there. Why is that? There is nothing else to do. I have nothing else to do. Because when you refer to nothing, what, does it, what do we do? Uh, what do we count in it? Plural or singular? Uh, Plural, singular. 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 That's why we cannot use it as, sorry. So what's happening here? Play all my drawings. And then, okay, sorry, it's stuck over here. So number three, uh, Fatima, no use looking around the school. Uh, there's. There? There's no. No use? No use. Looking around. Looking around. Number four, Sophie? Can it be, can it be there will be? There will, it will be. be no use. Oh. Uh, it depends on your situation. If you're really talk, talking about the, your, your, your atmosphere is about the future, there could be. But this case, for example, if we want to find something else, there's nothing else to, we can do. So there is no use looking around. Okay. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah, okay. Number four, Sophie? There aren't any and any more photos in the classroom? Buravi. Look at the the ones that we have got. Look at the one of the of the trees, for example. Buravi. Uh huh. Too far from all the rest. Okay. 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 Can you move it? Guys, girls, any suggestion? For example? For example? Uh, there are? There are too far. All the rest. Yes, there are? It can be, yes. Can you move it, Dylan? Dylan, I mean. Uh, there will be too far. There will, there will be, there will be too far from all the rest. Yeah, I think so. So let's rearrange the ones that we have got. Look at the one of the trees, for example. It is maybe. It's uh, too, it far. Is, uh, it too far. Is too far. It is too far. Far from all the rest. Can you move it, Dylan? Ah, there's. It's, it's yes, Dylan. there is. Mm -hmm. So, Dylan, of course. Number six is for who? Okay, Fatima. Uh, me. Uh huh. Chair or something. Uh, is there a chair or something that I could stand on? Ah, uh, is there a chair or something to stand on? 
Okay, Ethan, Sophie. Yeah. There are some. And there are some. Okay. So I will leave those one, two, three. I'm sure this is uh, quite easy, right? Shall we move on to the next slide? Is there any question? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, next one here. The robe is going to work to a client, the manager of marrying. Fill the gaps with all, some, or none. So, some of the owners have kept their boats here for 30 years, but new yacht join the time. The time. All, all, all the time. All the time. All the time. Okay. Wow, that's magnificent yacht, isn't it? I wonder how much that cost. Of those boats are very expensive. All? All. All, yeah. No, I don't think so. Yes. Can, can we say all of these are, all of these boats are very expensive? Some. I think it also can be all, right? Some of those boats are very. Yes, it can be. I think it's a, some is more makes more sense. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I think we can also put none. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Very expensive. Yes, actually, you can fit three of them. But you have to remember that the owners are important to us, regardless of money. So, but you have to remember that. All of, all, 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 of of owners. Owners. all of the owners are important, important to us, regardless of money. Or some of the owners or none of the owners are important to us, regardless of money. So then they say the next part, and they pay an annual fee. But some all of the boats, are, all of the boats must be very expensive, but you have to remember that. Here, yeah, number three, what should we fill it with? All. All, yeah. All of the owners are important to us, regardless of money. And they... All. They all... They all... Pay in pay any... Money. Business need to make profit, Rob. Most, most owners pay around 5,000 pounds per year, but pay more. Okay. Yeah, what do you think? All again? All business need to make money. Huh? Yes. All business. All business. All business. Yes, um, but? But some pay more. Exactly. Some. some pay more. Marines charge for electricity and others don't. Here. Some. some. Yeah. And is that right? Are there any extra charge? No, there are. None. None. Okay. So next one. So next one. Everything oh. is included. I think that I is. Think that is. I think that's all. All you need for. Yeah, drink. all you need to know exactly. for today. Exactly. All you need to know to. All you need to know for today. We will see you tomorrow. Okay. So that was quite simple. Let's move on to the next slide. Here. Here, this is the gaps we're going to fill with one of those. There's some of them you can use them more than once, okay? And what are going to be? Uh, and both and each, either, every, neither, or nor. He is going to check which one is exactly. Uh, this is a more precise job. So, and as I said, each of our rooms has the flat screen TV and internet access, so guests can to work or relax. Here. Either, either. Either. either work or relax. The oh, yeah. and towels are changed two days. Every two Every. days. Uh -huh. Every two days. Every two days. Every well, I think. Uh, are there any questions you would like to ask? You have two suits, Max. Does have a jacuzzi? You have two. Both. Does, does, does both. Does both. 
has have jacuzzi they do actually they they both do aha uh -huh, they both do and in so, wait miss since when does does and both come together what is it because it's a question have because both has right both have but hold on hold on hold on they both do actually and then he does does each have a jacuzzi yes yes this is um hold on how i'm going to remove this one that's your right correct and instead we should have here uh -uh. each mm -hmm. have jacuzzi yes they both do actually and stood there is a, also a small sauna in in every in every or, or each which one each each miss each in every suit on each suit there is a small sauna which one should i cross out each each is the correct one so i leave this which one, one is for the two or more each suit there is also a small sauna okay each so this hotel has changed ownership two years or so Oh, what's wrong with me? Every two years. Okay, every, every two years. Change the one, two years or so. Are you here for a long term, Max? Definitely, Amy. And I, my team would want to leave after the uh, Neither are nor my team. Yes, neither I. Here, nor my team. My team. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, why did you decide to have a French, a Japanese restaurant? Both a French and a Japanese restaurant. Both a French. Both a French. And, and French, oh, no, and Japanese, Japanese restaurant. Is your hotel big enough to support those two restaurants? I hope so. I believe that restaurant has its own character. It's each. Each. Each or every, okay. Each restaurant has each or every. Each. Which one is more, each specific, more specific? Every is the more specific. Every is the more general one. So in this country, the general one is more specific. The specific. I believe that but generally about each restaurant or every restaurant has their own uh, uh, character. Which one? Talking about the French and the Japanese restaurant that he has in the hotel. Okay. okay. Oops, I believe that he has his own. Because he said, previous sentences that they have a French, but is your hotel big enough to go to the so I believe that talking about we're talking about the French and the Japanese Burali, any idea? Yeah. What is your opinion? Yeah. You agree with the, because it, it doesn't talk like generally it talks about the Japanese and the French. Okay. Each, each. Each, okay. I hope so. I believe that each restaurant has its own character. Guests can choose either either to enjoy and live the lively atmosphere of the French ones or or one or the or the or either and or either or the common pleasure of Japanese cooking. Oh, I forgot. And I forgot to mention that all guests, sorry, my, again, my computer, free bath. Some hotels that I know charge 30 pounds for their robes. 30 pounds? Each. Uh -huh, each. Each. So, this is it. Uh -huh. So, 
the difference between every in each is every is a general situation and each is particular and I mean a specific situation. And both go on the end goes with both or goes with either, nor goes with neither. Is that clear? Okay. That is it. This is it for today. So any other question to ask or to clarify? Yes, we are talking about the... And you did ask me a question about enough. And what was it? Okay, let's say... I have a question. What is it? Okay. About the pronunciation for oh. the neither and either. Is it neither or neither? It depends on the, the, which uh, accent you are following, American, because I, I start with American, I used to say either, but uh, either, and also they saying that. You may choose by, uh, by either or neither. neither. Oh, so they're both correct? Yeah, both correct. But depends on the, which uh, the, the language you are following up, either or neither. Usually I, I use it either or neither. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any more question? No. No? Okay. So see you after 10 minutes.